All right, uh, we have seen how to differentiate a power series term by term. So now, naturally, we're going to integrate a power series term by term. So basically, the idea is the same. So if you have a function represented by a power series, then in order to find the integral of the function, what you do is you just in integrate every term of the power series and add them together. And that, that, that's going to be it. So uh, here is how it works in practice. So how do we determine the power series of ln of 1 plus x? Now, um, for, well, double 4. To, to do it, um, notice that we know the power series for the derivative of ln of 1 plus x, right? So if, if th this is um, our function that we want to find the power series of, then its derivative is, is really just 1 over 1 plus x. And we know the power series for the, this function, right? So it's we can rewrite it as 1 minus negative x, and this is 1 minus x plus x squared minus x cubed plus x to the 4 minus and so on. So the, this is a geometric um, power series with a common ratio of negative x, right? So on the other hand, ln of 1 plus x. Now, now with um, when you integrate power series, power series term by term, so there are basically two ways to do it. So one with plus c and indefinite integral. So the other way is with a definite integral. I personally prefer a definite integral because then I, I don't have to, to really care about plus c. Uh, I, I can just forget, forget forget about it and it kind of just um, can be computed automatically, right? So I, I would, instead of writing that this is the antiderivative of one plus one over one over one plus x dx, as if I, as what I would do if I uh, wanted to do an indefinite integral, I would rather um, change it to a definite integral. So one plus t dt from zero to x. Well, uh, by by the way, you, you can easily verify it. So if you are not sure that. Um, I'm telling you the truth, and you you can verify it. So that this is, if you want to integrate this, you will get uh, ln of one plus uh, t change from zero to x, and this is ln of one plus x minus ln of one plus zero, which is ln one, and ln one is zero. So this is ln of one plus x. So it, it really works, All right? Um, Okay, anyway, so this is going to be the integral from 0 to x. Now I'm going to apply my power series to the integrand. And the integrand is 1 over 1 plus t, so I'm going to replace x with t, so 1 minus t plus uh, t square minus t cubed plus t to the 4 minus and so on dt and then I've got to integrate them term by term and this is going to be x minus um, x square over 2 plus x cubed over 3 minus x to the 4 over 4 plus x to the 5 over 5 and so on. Well strictly speaking I should get a change I, I, well I should find a change but so, so let me do it here I, I just did it in my mind but uh, ju just ju just in case so the integral from 0 to x of c to the raised to the power n dt is um, c raised to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 the change from 0 to x and this is really because if you plug in 0 as t you will get 0 so this is just x uh, and raised to the n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 Okay, so that, that's basically the answer, but if you want to write it in a more compact form, you can do it. So this is the sum from 1. So notice that it starts, the, the power starts from, from 1, from 1 to infinity, while well, x raised to the power n divided by n. Well, and there is also negative 1 raised to the power, well, if I wrote n, then the first term would be negative, right? So I should write n plus one and minus one instead.
Okay, so this is the power series for a loan of one plus x. All right, so here is uh, the same solution only. So notice that in the uh, printed solution, they, they use plus C. I personally prefer, instead of using plus C, I prefer integrating a definite integral. So integrating from zero to X, and then inside the integral, I would replace X with T. So for me, it is easier, but if you prefer plus C, you, you can do it with plus C. So only you, will, you, you, you should understand that you will have to kind of compute C well, as a separate uh, operation, right? Um, by substituting x equals zero. Okay, but otherwise, it's uh, both methods are kind of um, um, will of course lead to the same result, and it's just up to you which of the two you, you want to use. All right, so um, here is a number of uh, power series that uh, we have figured out so far. Uh, in the quiz here, you will also figure out the power series for inverse tangent x, right? So, um, and here, um, basically the idea is the same, so only uh, inverse tangent x, right? So if you differentiate it, you get one over one plus x square. So inverse tangent x, you, you can think of it as the antiderivative, well, as the actually as a definite integral of from zero to x of dx over one plus, well, dt, sorry, dt of that, um, dt over one plus t squared. And you can represent this as a power series. 